Hey, hey, you know who it is. It's Jack's Kid here, and it's time for my novelty soda taste testing show. Now let's get started. So let's get this video going. Our first soda here. Let's unwrap here. See what we got. I kind of chilled this one. So. This one's called Dang That's Good Butterscotch Root Beer. All right. Let's pop this bad boy open. Oh yeah, strong, strong butterscotch smell. Huge fan of butterscotch, by the way. Dang, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Thirty-one grams of sugar in this bad boy. Caffeine free. It, this is authentic right here. Dang, that's good butterscotch root beer. Very creamy. Um, the ginger in it's not strong. It's perfect combination. The butterscotch is spot on. Mm. Dang, that's good. Alright, so let's see. Let's unwrap our next one. Let's see what we got here. Uh-oh, the butterscotch beer, the Harry Potter soda. All right. Approved by the Mystery of Magical Foods and Drinks. <clears throat> wow, the butterscotch in that one is really strong. But I'm like complaining I love butterscotch. Oh right. Let's see ingredients say carbonated water, pure cane sugar, natural artificial flavor, caramel coloring. It contains milk. Hmm. Very good. Very good. The Harry Potter butterscotch beer. Very high in um, butterscotch. Very good that one. All right, what we got for our third one? Uh-oh, Swamp Pop. This one is a praline cream soda. This is uh, made with pure Louisiana cane sugar, and this one is a Louisiana-style pop. It was bottled for Swamp Pop Lafayette, Louisiana. Let's see what we got here. This one kind of tastes like a pecan pie, or pecan, wherever you live, however you say it. Uh, yeah, which is good. Um, yeah, very creamy. You can taste the cream soda in it. The cream soda is very strong with that, the hint of um, praline, pecan, pecan, whatever. Very rich and creamy. Swamp Pop, Louisiana style, very good. Hey, look. I got some more sodas waiting over there. Take a walk with me, let's go. We'll pick up some more. All right, so let's try our next soda out. This one is the Pure Soda Works, the Cafe Cola. It is a natural soda, has all natural ingredients, says nothing artificial. Sparkling water, pure cane sugar, orange juice, juice lemonade, lime juice, spices, and caramel color, espresso, citric acid. So that sounds interesting. Crack it up and see what we got. That almost smells like a cinnamon spice tea or something. Where does it smell like soda? Hey, let's try it out. It's a very odd combination of flavors. 
right here in this. Um, it does kind of taste like a soda because it's got the sparkling water, but it kind of kind of tastes like a sparkling tea beverage to me. I like it though. It's pretty good. Um, this is actually made in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And out there in uh, Tennessee, Gallenberg Pitch Forest, they do have uh, novelty shops where um, you can find sodas like this in their gift shops. Yeah, it kind of tastes like a sparkling tea to me, guys. But I like it. It really doesn't have that coffee flavor. It has more of that cinnamon spice kind of a tea flavor. So, there you go for the Cafe Cola by Pure Soda Works. Another one from Pure Soda Works. Um, this one is the Apple Pie. So, let's give this one a try. Apple Pie. Shouldn't shuck it up. Wow, that is really good. This one tastes authentic. It tastes like a real apple pie with cinnamon sprinkles on it. This is good. God, that's delicious right here. Mm. Apple pie by Pure Soda Works. I got a few more sodas in my bag that we had not tried yet. It would be a great idea to have some of these people do a blind taste test. That would be great for camera. So we got a couple coming here um, in just a second. They'll be up here. So I'm going to go talk to them and see what we can get done. I'll be right back. All right, guys. That didn't work out too great. Um, she was really snobby. One of the rich, uptight ladies. She was real snobby. and I mean, she was a pure at jerk. And so I would kick water on her, and she's pissed. So we're hiding right now. Here, hiding in the bush. Let's just um, get to our next soda. We got the Dad's Old Fashioned Blue Cream Soda. I've never had the cream soda before, but I've had the Dad's Root Beer, and that's a great root beer. So let's try this one out and see what it tastes like. Pretty good. It's still, like I said in my other video, it kind of tastes like a frosty, a frosty cream soda. Who was that? Who's that over there? Is that her? Mm. But it ain't too bad. It ain't too bad. Oh, here she comes. Alright guys, I saved the best for last. This is the brownie caramel cream root beer. This one I can't wait to try. Sounds great, don't it? Brownie Caramel Cream Root Beer. Can't wait to try this one. Oh, heavenly. <laughs> now this is the best root beer I had ever tried. Very creamy. That hint of like a caramel brownie. It's very delicious. Like, ah. Ginger's not overpowering or nothing like that. It is very good. Brownie caramel cream root beer. Good God, this is good. Wow. So for this video, and I appreciate you watching. Yeah, we got away from that old bat. Turns out we can run faster than her. So it all worked out in the end. So, um, if you watched my last video, the Pepsi uh, USA versus Mexico, I was going to give away some soda. So, yeah. So, all these flavors that you've seen in this video, like I said, the first three new subscribers will get them for free. Um, just leave me um, some comments of what your favorite flavors are. And if you're the first three subscribers, you'll get some free soda. I appreciate you watching, guys. Thanks so much. Stay tuned for the next episode.
I don't want to.